When placing windows and doors in 2020, we will first go over to our catalog area, our drag and drop area, to choose and select our items. You'll notice here at the top of my screen, I happen to be in the sample F catalog. I've been placing cabinetry. What I need to do is click on the arrow and actually open up what I call my spec book shelf and find the proper spec book. So I'll click on the down arrow here. I will scroll up to the catalog called room. The room catalog incorporates a number of items. You have atriums, decorative items, doors, obstacles, reserves, symbols, tiles, walls, and windows. Right now I'd like to place a window, so I will double click on window. And when I double click on an item, you'll see that the item then opens up the next page and I have two options here. I'll choose the first option and then it'll ask me another question. The question is, what is the height of the window? I'm going to choose a 36 inch high window and it'll say what type of window. Well, 2020 has tons of windows in here as standards. We have gliding, casement windows, soffit double hung, architectural windows, mullioned windows, diagonals, trapezoids, triangles, rounds, half rounds, ovals, domes, and even stained glass windows. And if you wanted to take a look at any of these, all you would do is click on them and we have a preview menu right here. You can see a preview of your menu. So I can scroll back to the top and say I'd like to have a casement window and look at the preview. Or in this case, let's say that we use an architectural window with mullions. I'll click on it. I'll hold my left button down on the item and I will drag it to where I'd like to place it. So I'm going to drag the window to the placement zone on the top wall. I will let go of the window on the wall and you'll see that I can move it back and forth. Now, here's what we really need to be paying attention to. Don't worry about the window on the wall itself. What we want to do is look to the far left-hand side of your screen over here in your edit box. You'll see that we have center, width, left, and right dimensions. Now, how do we navigate the edit box? On your keyboard, on the far left-hand side, you have a tab key. The tab key looks like arrows that are pointing left and right. And if you look at my edit box, right over here in my edit box, every time you click the edit key, I'm sorry, the tab key, it actually tabs or moves down through each field. Every time I click it, I'm just moving through the fields. Now, why am I doing that? It's because I want to type in the width, the left, or the right, or the center line dimension. Now, what I want you to pay attention, really particular attention to, is you don't need to type in each value. You've gone out to the job site, you've measured the room, you've measured the openings, and you probably know the overall width, trim to trim, for the window, and you know a left, right, or center line. You don't need to know all these. So in this case, let's say that our window is 48 inches wide. That's what I know for my field measurements. So I'll tab down and say on my keyboard, my window is 48 inches, trim to trim. Now, you're going to want to click the Enter key on your keyboard, but you don't want to do that because you would be confirming a 48 inch window at the dimensions that are currently set. They're not the right dimensions. I know from field measuring my room that my window is actually 68 and a quarter inches from the left. I will hit my tab key one more time so that I'm right next to left and I will type on the keyboard 68.25 inches. I've placed width, I've placed my left dimension. When I hit my enter key, 2020 will automatically figure the rest of my dimensions as you can see on the floor plan. Now that was a window you need to place a door as well. And you can place as many windows and doors as you want on this drawing, but let me add one more. When I want to place a door, because doors are in different categories, I don't need to start over. What I will do though is I'll go to the top of my list where it says categories, and when I double click on categories, it takes me right back to the very beginning of the room sample generic catalog. At the bottom, I'm sorry, at the bottom of the catalog, we chose windows, but we're going to go again alphabetical order back to near the top where we have doors. I can double click on doors and just like with the windows, make my selections by double clicking through the list. And when I get to the final end or to get to the end of my list, I should say, you'll see doors. Again, lots of doors, just like we had windows. I could go in and place, let's say, a door with square raised panels and you can see the preview. But for this room, on the right hand side, I'm simply going to place a door with, uh, let's just say it's a doorway with a frame. That's my first option. I will again hold my left button down. 
I will drag it to the workspace or the placement zone is what we call it of the wall where I'd like to place the door. I will drop it into place and just like with the window, I will immediately look over here to my left. And again, I'm not clicking, I'm not doing anything with the mouse on the keyboard. I will hit the tab key. And if I know from my field measurements that that door is going to be 36 inches trim to trim, and I know a left, right, or a center line dimension, I'm going to tab down to my left dimension and say, I measured, and it's 132 inches from the left. When I hit enter, my door will be placed exactly where I want it to.